All right, so you got your thiol and you really want to convert it to a sulfonyl complex. How do you do it? Well, there are three options depending on how you want the sulfur to end it up. One option is that you want to attach only one oxygen to the sulfur. And to do this, we just use sodium periodate. And this will give us the sulfonyl complex. Now, a comment on how this is drawn. I have seen this written in the book where it creates a sulfur oxygen single bond and we have a formal charge separating the sulfur, oops, forgot, long bear, the sulfur and the oxygen to give us this complex. Another option, another way to draw this is this way. Sorry, don't need a lone pairs there. Now, which is correct? By the way, I was taught to draw those structures. This is the correct complex with the S double bond O. And the reason we do this is to minimize formal charges. I also prefer it because sulfonyl is analogous to carbonyl and that makes a lot more sense for you. But again, you will see books see, write, write this multiple ways. This is the way you would do it if you want to get closer to like, well, just kind of basically getting formal charges. But anyway, we're to decide. The other way to accomplish this is adding a half equivalent of peroxide. So if we add just enough hydrogen peroxide to match the number of sulfur atoms in the solution, we'll get the same complex. Now, if we double the peroxide, sorry, not half. So here we have equivalent amount of peroxide. Here if we have twice as much peroxide, we'll end up putting sulfur in an even higher oxidation state. And again, you may see some books write it as The reason they're writing it with the plus two charge on the sulfur and the next one, negative one on the oxygens is to kind of give this like satisfy the octet rule. Personally, I prefer the one where you minimize the formal charges, but it doesn't matter. Big point here. If you've got your sulfur complex and you want to make a sulfur nail, you can use sodium periodate or one equivalent of hydrogen peroxide. If you want to get the double oxygenated sulfur species, you're going to work with the two equivalents of H2O2. And from there, you should basically be set in terms of the types of sulfur compounds you can make for organic complexes.